On today's show, a very, very distinguished guest. Finally, I have an intellectual who can match my first for meaningful intellectual discussions. Dr. Henry Ayn, a noted scientist, physicist, uh, inventor, uh, purveyor of theories. Really, he does everything. Science, you name it. He's here. We talk about, well, uh, yeah, we, we, we cover everything. And when I say everything... I mean everything. Uh, but before we get to that, let's hear from today's sponsors that want me to tell you about their new show. Detective David Chill is a rugged, no-nonsense, play-by-his-own-rules cop, and he is distraught to find himself partnered with a fresh-faced, by-the-book, Daphne Netflix. Uh, they may not get along, but if they work together, they might be able to clean up this dirty, crime-infested town. You won't want to miss out. In fact, you'll want to binge it all. In the new series, Netflix and Chill, this spring on Amazon Prime. And now on with today's show. Any relation to the renowned mathematician Edward Mins? No, do you say Mind or Minge? Mins. 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 Right, Edward no, Mins. No, 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 no. Not Minge, I don't know. No, Dr. Why Minge I said was that. a geologist. He was a geologist. She was a geologist. She, okay, I'm sorry. Doctors of geology can be women. Okay. It's 2017. Uh, okay, well, coming to us live from the high road, Dr. Henry Aim is with me today. I'm very excited. This is a very uh, highbrow guest for me. I'm usually talking to reality stars or, you know, people who think they've invented the phone or one guy who cut his penis off. You are an actual Nobel Prize winning physicist. Yes, I am. You have a higher IQ than Stephen Hawking. Yes, I do. You have revolutionized work with atoms and particles and in the next six years is this right did i read this correctly you think you have a theory on time travel devices that will make that a reality yeah i'm probably going to get around to that sometime in the next six years i've got some things lined up there you know that's really cool just time travel just mention it casually when i get around to it i suppose you are busy you're a busy gentleman yeah like like you say i am I part of the Nobel board now so I have to fly out there uh, this did the work with the atom particle research in Sweden and I'm also developing a new kind of dog you're it's, developing a new kind of dog yeah we're going to improve the dog people are sort of like oh you know dogs are like pretty much the best thing ever and I was like I can do that better oh, it's, I, I admire your your ambition that, that's brilliant but well it's a pleasure to have you here anyway thank you yeah so I mean I'm hoping to get into it is that going to be okay I mean I know you you must spend all of your time really talking about, you know, big sciencey stuff. Yeah, I do, but I've also started working towards a doctor in, in fine arts, uh, the study of clowning, mm -hmm. robotics. Yes. I keep busy. You keep yourself varied. Yes. It's amazing. I mean, you just have so much going on, so many, you know, irons in the fire. It's yeah, This is interesting. I, I wonder if you get asked this question much. What do you do in your off time? I mean, you know, you, you go home, you clock out from, you know, the science building. You go home, you take off your coat, make some dinner. You know, what's... What do you do? What, what's in your Netflix queue? I don't really have Netflix. You don't have no. Netflix? Um, to be honest, I don't really watch much TV. No? I did watch the new DuckTales reboot on the Disney Channel. What's DuckTales? The new DuckTales reboot. Oh, with yeah. the... Uh, Huey, Louie, and the, the yes, of course, Donald Duck and his nephews. Uh, I think we, we'd all agree that DuckTales, the original, was groundbreaking, pioneering animation. So, of course, I was interested in seeing what the reboot would be yeah, like. I for, remember that I remember for that. these kids. That's today, interesting. You know? I wouldn't have pegged you as a DuckTales guy. We could we could kind of go into that. Well, it's it's an interesting topic. It's up there with quantum mechanics, string theory, black holes, all that. DuckTales is. Du of course, yeah, but it's just, it's such an advanced topic that I don't really like to discuss it with layman's because it will be here all day. I mean, that's fair enough. I, I just think, well, it's just interesting, really. To, so you hold it in the same high regard as, as your work in the science field? No, absolutely. There's, there's plenty of fields of donalistic research to be discovered that need more pioneering researchers like me in there. I'm not just talking about the rich history of the characters Donald. and the animation and the settings, you see? There's a, lot, there's a lot of things going on within the world of Disney Ducks. Did you say Donaldistic? Donaldistic research is what we Donaldists refer to as our research into the world of Donald Duck. I didn't realise. By extension, Scrooge McDuck, who is my particular area of expertise. I, I'm, I'm no Johnny Flanagan, don't get me wrong. He, <laughs> he was a groundbreaking researcher in all things Scrooge. The work he did on the family tree was exemplary. I, I, I didn't realise there was so much interest, and I didn't realise there was a need for a name for the 
type of study of it. Well, it's bigger in Germany than it is here in, in England, but you know, you get to Sweden, there are there are there are whole sections of schools dedicated to the research of Donald Duck. Okay. Um well that's that's interesting, I suppose. I am um, I suppose, really though, I'm more fascinated by your work in in nuclear fusion. So, I mean, what would you what would you say was the most challenging area when it came to when it came to that? Well, I've always been quite interested in the study of nuclear fusion. I started reading up on it when I was five. Um, of course, what what drew me to it was the parallels between mm-hmm. the Japanese animation style and the original Ducktales, because as I'm sure you know. The whole. This is what drew you to nuclear fusion. Yes, of course, because the godfather of manga thought that all animation from the Western world looked like Donald Duck with the big eyes. So he incorporated that into his style. Astro Boy, of course, being the primary example of that. It's still getting rebooted worldwide as we speak, and he inspired the animation style from his own work. Oh, okay. Which is interesting because, as I'm sure you know, the original DuckTales was a Japanese venture. It was. I didn't, animated I in didn't Japan, know. it's a very different style of what was happening at the time in the nineties, which was animation inspired by toy rights more than anything else. And this was something that was outsourced to a good studio in Japan and then dubbed over for the English and American speaking audiences. I, and of course, made its way to parts of Europe where Sweden, Germany, those regions became more popular. Okay, so But that's mostly from the comic book style, which is its own expansive universe of works, which again, they didn't have anime I mean, in I think, Sweden. They didn't have mm-hmm. Beano comics in Sweden, they had Donald Duck comics. Uh, I think we're kinda of getting away from I mean this is fascinating, really. I am I'm, I'm kind of floored that, you know, someone I held in such high esteem in the academics community has has such a uh, an affection for, for Donald Duck cartoons but um so i did want to talk a bit about nuclear fusion if this is how you got into it that's that's fine but you know i'm more interested in you know other stuff you know like the higgs boson particle the god particle you you work on time travel you know we don't usually get to talk about that kind of stuff on 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 this program in particular so if we could kind of keep it more you know, based in academics. Of course, yes. So the God particle, as it's known as the Higgs boson mm-hmm, experiments, mm-hmm. where in slamming particles together at a high enough speed, this will, is insane. Yeah, can th- will in theory start another big bang. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. this is all scientific application of what could otherwise be described as theoretical, magical kind of things. You would say it was magical. That's well, interesting. It, it's not the kind of stuff Magic of Dispel would use. It's a, it, it's a, it's Magic of uh, Dispel? I'm not familiar with his work. How, who is... No, she's a character from DuckTales. Okay. She's not really found on the family tree, but she is part of the larger canon. Okay. Interestingly she... enough, in the new series, they do introduce a, a character who is some kind of relationship. We haven't got to that yet. But I do... My theory is that she's going to be either a vessel for Magicka or someone from the Magicka family tree that we're going to start spawning uh, off now sorry, as so, its own family tree, which will be tied in to the rich history that we mentioned in the beginning. So Magicka to spell is not a, a, a astrophysicist? No, she's a magical cartoon doc who has a raven that talks. Uh, okay, and what's she got to do with the Higgs boson particle? So Rostil Gichel Fault de Defen research is the study is- of the duck bill. And when we apply it's, the same study what? of the duck bill to, to Magicka, we can see that within a ninth of a degree, Ross the Dillon. upfold of her front bill matches that of Donald Duck. Now, here's my theory. I believe sorry, that is... when the when the triplet's mother disappears, Who the what triplets? she does in fact... I'm not saying that she is Magicka. I'm saying there is some relation there. Maybe she's a, a cousin. Maybe she's part of some edge of the family tree that's been cut off but I think there's a direct correlation there's between them there's a study though. of Donald Duck's bill yes what are you studying nuclear fusion Donald Duck bills new dogs okay all this stuff look I am when you're a, when you're a genius like me and I hate to bring attention to the I'm a genius stuff like time travel and nuclear fission and you know string theory it gets blase it gets quite boring so you turn like, to duck tales oh, it's, it, it's interesting you know the thing. The thing about Donald Duck compared to String Theory is we can do new things with Donald Duck. We can take Donald Duck and we can put him in a newscaster, or we can make him a sailor. String Theory is just old, boring white dudes standing around talking about you know existence. Who really um, cares about existence? 
Dr. N, I am... Um, listen, f- full disclosure, I've never seen DuckTales, so I think that maybe we should kind of keep this discussion rooted in, in, in academics, because I will Oh yeah, that's really... fine, you haven't seen the new DuckTales yet, it's, mm. it's only been out for a while, you can catch up with it in full like I did. I no, watched I've never day. really seen any DuckTales, so I don't really know, nor do I care if I'm being, you know, completely honest about, um, you, you know, the study of of Donald's Bill or, you know, his his long-lost sister, Magicia, you know. Well, that's just a theory. You know, it's just, uh, I, I don't know whether we could have really, a, like, a good back and forth kind of podcast discussion because I don't really know anything about um, the DuckTales, so. Okay. Do you know anything about how black holes work? Well, No. Do you want me to sit here for half an hour and give you the the first part of black hole theory? I, I mean, I I imagine it's complicated. Well, it's better than the two hour version, which is still just a basic understanding. I mean, well, so what? You, you want you've come here to you want to talk about Ducktales while you're here? I you you invited me here to chat. That's what the email said. I don't I sit around didn't all day. Think we were going to talk about a Donald Duck show. I don't talk to my friends about astrophysics. They they don't care about that. I mean, we don't we don't, don't go we don't go to the pub and have a few halves while discussing matter theory. But you discuss Donald Duck. Well, yeah. They they need contributions for their magazines. Well, I don't know really know what we're going to do because I mean, I'm still not even really sure. We're talking about the show with like the with the triplets with all with the little mini Donald Ducks. Exactly. Yes. Donald, the Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Huey, Dewey, yes. and Louie. I mean, you know I think, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. I mean, vaguely. Uh, I think I watched it when I was a, when I was a kid. Um, I, to be honest, I was I was kind of put off. I didn't really understand why. Why didn't Donald Duck wear pants? I mean, is this a thing that's covered in in you know Donaldism? Why why didn't the guy wear pants? Everyone wore pants. He didn't wear pants. What's up with that? Now, uh, to be fair, they. None of the characters wore pants. Yeah, it's... they did. Of course they did. No, they don't. The triplets did. What are they? Uh, Jason, Frank, and... No, we've just discussed Tui, Dewey, and Louie. Right, yeah. The green, the blue, and the red. Yeah, they they wore pants. No, they didn't. They did. They wore, like, like baggy skater shorts. One of them had, like, a, a backwards cap, because he, he, was, he was the cool one. Wait, yeah. wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Yeah, with the shorts and the No, shut cap. up. No. Are you talking about quad pack? Are you, um, are you fucking sitting here talking to me about Quack Pack? Yeah, when the in, fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, like the like the mid How late nineties. Fucking dare you bring Quack Pack up oh. to me? Jesus Christ! That was Ducktales, wasn't no, it? No, it wasn't Ducktales. It was Quack Pack. It was a soulless blase casting and nineties hipster culture, which only lasted the two fucking weeks that it lasted. That spat on the legacy of Donaldistic research. Let's make Huey, Dewey, and Louie superheroes. Let's make them skating grifters. Oh, quack, No, quack. no. DuckTales, what's the difference? disgusting. DuckTales is a heartfelt, warm show about a cold billionaire that opens up his home to some abandoned triplets. You don't know what those kids have been through. Right. Donald doesn't know what those kids have been through. Scrooge sure as hell doesn't, but he still opens his heart and his home to them. They go on adventures. I remember quite They liking. travel the world. What that. happens on Quack Pack? I Nothing happens on Quack I remember Pack. Quite like Nothing it. happens on Quack Pack. You know, with the intro when he's sitting on the couch uh. and they come along with the TV, it's like, oh, what's going on here? I, okay, so you're not a fan of Quack Pack then? No, I, I'm not a fan of Quack Pack. No one in the Donaldistic research community is a fan of Quack Pack. Oh, well, hang on, hang on, hang on. So you, we started this, you were talking about a reboot. So, so what's the difference between Quack Pack, you know, the mid-90s attempt to restart DuckTales, and this new DuckTales reboot? Why is one better than the other? Well, for one, the original pays homage to the classic Donald Shell family tree model. Who's Donald Shell? He is the inventor of the Donald Duck family tree. Do you think Walt Disney did everything? Carl Banks, Don Rosa, William Van Horn. These people are the people who laid the groundwork for the Donald Duck canon, for the Scrooge McDuck canon, and therefore the great show that is DuckTales. The reboot. You're fine with the reboot then? I mean, you know, I'm interested in where it's going. Uh-huh. I'm not completely sold on it. No. The the flash animation is just... It's not for me. It lacks the warmth of the brush stroke that I miss from uh-huh. Korean animation. And yeah, the voice casting is... I'll say it's impeccable. I'll say it's impeccable. They've, they've really done their research. They found the brevity of the characters and paired it with the actors of the time. I mean, if you say embodies so. embodies it. 
And yeah, I'm interested to see where it's gone. I have my doubts about the interpretation of Wendy and Nanny. Who, who doesn't? Who's Wendy? And also, who's the addition Nanny? of Lena, like I said before, I would open up all kinds of things with Magicka. There's some great doors that that could really bring us into talking about. All right, but nuclear fission. And the ending, Jesus, that was something else, wasn't it? I mean, what a reveal. I mean, I had to stop working on my perpetual motion machine because I was that invested and I couldn't do anything else for a week. I had to go back and whoa. read all these comics. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you say perpetual motion machine? Yeah, I knocked that out and like I. You've made a perpetual day. motion machine. Yeah, I, I came up with the idea while I was watching uh, episode three, the Great Dime Chase. It got me thinking about you know the pursuit of wealth and why we're all so hung up on these archaic designs such as fossil fuels. And I thought, fuck it, I'll just knock this perpetual motion machine thing out. It's... But then I, like I could say, I got distracted by the series. Have you I went back and watched it two times? Have you told anyone read else all about the comics this? again? And then I had to fly to Frankfurt for the Donald Convention because I came up with some pretty, pretty interesting things about I mean, I mean, the webbage of Huey's feet compared to the webbage of Donald's feet. Now, I think that the shut up, shut up. aren't... Shut up for a moment. Uh, this perpetual motion machine that you know that you just sort of you know cracked out one night, have you told anyone else about it? Like, is this breaking? News? I mean, it might, it might have came up... Drawing the panel at the at Donald Con seventeen, but you know there was only like four guys in the crowd, and they were much more interested in my unified web. So theory. what you're saying is I have a get, I have a get right now. This is breaking news on acquiring minds that will change the world. Well, the lads at Quack Majeka didn't think so, but I ah, guess yeah. Perpetual motion machine. Maybe just didn't translate. It's going to well. change civilization. And 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 the news. Oh, this is going to be. I mean, I'll have to edit out all the Donald Duck stuff, really. Otherwise, and then, I don't. Know, then I won't have a, a show. I'll have to like upload at least fifteen minutes to get money from sponsors. So, oh, double-edged sword. <laughs> I'll sort that out later. Oh well, this is brilliant. This has been great. I mean, I didn't really get the Donald Duck stuff, but I mean, I mean, I I, I suppose if, if if you're interested in it, it can't be that bad. Uh, maybe I'll give it a go. How many episodes would you say there were? Is it something I can just kind of jump well, into? Well, we're talking about hundreds. You you obviously want to start with the classic DuckTales. You say hundreds? The theme. Yeah, and there's movies as well. So, But with all the episodes, you're looking at least 300. Three, oh, 300? That's insane. I mean, there's only 365 days in a year. So so what, you're telling me every day they're out there making DuckTales? They do. They do. Every day is basically a hurricane in Duckburg. It's, that's... This is crazy. I mean, you're a smart man. You should be spending your time inventing race cars, lasers, airplanes. You know, but you've come on here and you're talking about this mess of aquatic waterfowl conversation. It's a duck blair, if you will, to be honest. I mean, you're the greatest mind of our time. Earlier, you were talking about working on time travel. You know, you could be using it to find disease cures that we've never been able to find. And while you're wasting your time with this kid show, you could solve a mystery or rewrite history. Don't you think? Stephen, are you familiar with the theory of taking in education by osmosis? I mean, I suppose, but I don't think it's really relevant. You know, this really, it's just not my thing, you know. I don't really see what the big deal is. You know, duck tails. Woo-hoo. 